Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. In this video, I'm going to show you an OBS plugin that gives you a great way to overlay and control graphics over your video. It gives you a proper downstream keyer for your video productions. If you're not familiar with what a downstream keyer is, first of all, a keyer is just a function of a video switcher that lets you overlay one video source over another. And we call it a keyer because it keys out or removes something from the top source to reveal the bottom source. So for instance, if you filmed yourself in front of a green screen, you could key out the green and reveal the second source underneath as your background. That would be a chroma key because it's keying out a color. You could also use luma keying if you had something like white lyrics on black. A luma key removes black and leaves white. So a keyer overlays one source over another and then also makes part of the top source transparent. Now there are upstream keyers and downstream keyers and what that refers to is where the operation takes place in the signal path of the video switcher. Without this plugin that I'm about to show you, OBS has only had what would be considered upstream keyers. With an upstream keyer, the key is applied to an input and it occurs before the switching operation of a video switcher. You can set up an input source with a key, but if you switch away from that input, you lose your overlaid content because it stayed with the input. With a downstream keyer, the key is applied to the video downstream or after it's switched. You could think of it as applying the key to the program output of a video switcher. So even when you switch between your cameras, the overlaid content will remain on your video. So if you want to overlay lyrics from presentation software, the way OBS is structured, you build up how you want your video to look in each scene. You can overlay one input over another, but when you switch away from that scene to another camera input, you'll lose the overlay unless you also add it to the second scene as well. But then to turn the overlay off, you'd have to create a scene for each input that has it on and off, and it just gets messy and harder to manage. So let's install the Downstream Keyer plugin, and I'll show you how much better this works. You can find the link to install this plugin down in the description of this video. I'm using a Windows computer, so I'm gonna download the Windows installer. But this plugin is also available for Mac. Once that's downloaded, extract it and run the installation program. And once that's finished, launch OBS and go to the Docs menu and click on Downstream Keyer. I like to dock this to the left of my Scenes dock. It makes logical sense what's selected here is going to be applied over the scenes. To demonstrate this, I have these two cameras coming into OBS in two scenes, Camera 1 and Camera 2. And I have a third input from my presentation software that's bringing in lyrics that I want to overlay over my video. The way the Downstream Keyer plugin works is it uses one of your scenes as its overlay source. So we have to set up our lyric scene with a key. In this case, the output from my presentation software has a green background where I want it to be transparent. So I'm going to use chroma keying. With my lyric scene selected, I'm going to click the Filters button and select Chroma Key. and it defaults to green, so we already have a good key. We're now just seeing our black and white content. If you wanted to use a different type of key, like a luma key, you would just select that here instead of the chroma key. Click close, and now this scene is ready to be added to the downstream keyer. Now with the lyric scene selected again, click the plus button in the downstream keyer panel, and the lyric scene is added as an overlay source that we can use. I'll switch to one of my camera input scenes, and now in the Downstream Keyer panel, if I click on Lyrics, it will get overlaid over my video. And now I can switch my camera input scenes, and the lyrics stay overlaid on my video. You click this pause button to remove the key from the output. There are also some settings you can adjust here in the gear icon. I like to switch the transition to fade, so when I turn the key on and off, it will fade in and out over my video. You can also select to exclude a scene from the overlay. So for instance, if I exclude my blackout scene, 
Now when I fade to black, it will also remove the overlay as well. But as soon as I come back to another camera scene, the overlay comes back. Something else I like to do just for usability, I like to rename the scenes that are used by the downstream keyer so they are obviously different. I'll add some asterisks before and after the name. This just lets me know when I'm operating OBS that this is not a scene I want to actually switch to. It's now just a helper scene that's being used in the keyer. The beauty of this plugin is that it separates the operation of your overlays from the switching of your camera inputs, which allows OBS to operate much more like a regular hardware video switcher, and that becomes even more powerful when you start using keyboard shortcuts. I like to assign my scenes to numbers on the keyboard. So for instance, camera one is number one, and so forth. You do that in the settings. Go to the hotkeys page and scroll down and find your scenes. And in the switch to scene, fill in the key that you want to use. Then what you'll find for the scenes you're using in the DSK is that there is a new option, show in DSK1 and hide on DSK1. I've assigned that to L for lyrics and H for hide, but you can use whatever keys make sense to you. Once that's set up, go to view and multi-view windowed And now I can easily switch between cameras using the numbers on the keyboard and bring in or fade out my overlaid lyrics as needed. I hope you find this plugin as useful as I have. Until next time, bye.